and in the square. Hello there, I'm Dranko with more Pokemon Mesh Dungeon of Rescue Team. In the last part, we took on Groudon in the Magma Cavern Pit, and we beat him in a boss battle. We needed a single Revivor Seed, when we used, and we had four throughout the whole trip. So yeah, and we saved Alakazam's team. Now we're making our way back to the square. Is Steven's team almost here? Look, here they come. Everyone's all happy. It's true, darlings. Let's go. They're walking. Nice, nice, nice little walk into the middle of Pokemon Square. Great work, great work, Steven. You really took down that Groudon? Darlings, it's fantastic. You have won me over. Whoa, wait a second. How does everyone know about what happened underground? Pelipper spent, spent, spread the word with an extra edition of the Pokemon news. You, you bunch became stronger than I expected. You can be, you can be proud of it. Your, you lot did great. Why don't you, we team up sometime? Go ha You earned everyone's respect now. Your team, Grodel, is now a first class rescue team. Take pride in that. Cody, Steven. Sniffle, sniffle. Steven, this is great. Every bit of our effort, it is all worthwhile. Would you like, would you look at that? I don't, it doesn't seem some, it doesn't, I didn't think someone that could take down Groudon to be such a crybaby. Ha ha ha, ha ha everyone's laughing. Oh, what's that? Huh? What was that? I thought I heard something for just for a moment. Did I imagine it? Did I just imagine it? Interesting, it's, there it is again. Now I heard it too. Me too. Even now I hear it. Someone talking? Not sure. This voice, I've heard it before. This voice, I'm sure that's it. It's Satu. Satu? Oh, that's telepath tel telepathy. I don't even know if I said that right. Satu is calling out to us using telepathy. To all Pokemon, calling all Pokemon. Terrible it is. From the sky falls a star. Uh oh, this can't be good. From the star, from the sky comes a star. It is huge. A giant of a star. The star, it falls. It falls straight to us. Oh man, that doesn't look good. I mean, seriously. Oh man, that doesn't look good at all. That's even worse. Yeah, um, that's bad. <laughs> Disasters in nature. There were many. The balance of the world, it, is, it has been upset. All because of the star. The star that slowly comes closer, and Zatu, last time we saw him was in the Hill of the Ancients, when he told us about the Nine Tesla, uh, uh, mentioned that in Tesla Lightroom, I believe, so that's cool. Uh, if it come, if it keeps coming, it will crush, it will crash into this world. It shall be terrible. Something must be done. Zatu, tell us, can the falling star be stopped? There it is again, nice. There is a way. To prevent collision, there is but one solution. You must ask Rayquaza. Rayquaza? What might that be? A Pokemon living far above us in the sky. Legendary it is. Rayquaza must be asked to destroy the star from the sky. However, far, far up in the sky lives Rayquaza, known by few and seen by none. The sky. How... Are how are we to go there? Alakazam and I simply our teleport. Wait, Al Alakazam and I uh, amplify our teleport together and send Pokemon to the sky. However, the sky is a world above the clouds. What will become of the Pokemon sent to the sky? Even I can, even I can guess nothing. Then we'll do it. We'll go. I also thought. There could be none but you. But are you sure? There's no telling what would what you would find in that world above the clouds. We expect danger. It's my wish that all Pokemon can live in peace. Cody, Steven, do you hear? This is that too. Discuss we will, Alkazam and I about how our teleport can be amplified. Departure is it is tomorrow. Rest in Best you should until, best you should until then. Last word: dangerous will be your adventure. By fall, you might, 
but fail, but fail, you may not, you must not surpass yourselves. No problem, we'll be fine. Right, Steven, let's get it done. Okay. So, um, you can do your normal runs and stuff. Uh, I have a full bag, I think, so I'm gonna go to the, um, the King of Scott storage. Um, yeah, everyone's just cheering us on. But, um, go, I'd, I'd rather go in with a full bag and have, like, all the items I need rather than to, like, pick up items and new items. Because, like, I'd rather get through the dungeon and have, like, all my items and stuff that I need. Because, uh, cause, like, you know, picking up items in this next dungeon really isn't that important. You know, it's not the first priority, so... Yeah, we'll figure that out as we go. Good job, bull. Um... I, I misclicked. I meant to say A instead of B there. Dang it. Okay, let's just... Okay, so... Huge apple, huge apple. Need a couple orange berries. I have four reviver seeds. I'm gonna up the ante to five reviver seeds. Just cause. Reviver seeds. So I might even take more because I have five reviver seeds still. So I might take two more of our seeds, actually. So one, not one, but two, you guys. Just so I'm more well prepared. And one berries. Okay, hold on. Let me see my items real quick. Let's see, I have six of our seeds. I have one, two, three one berries. So I need more one berries. I need some more apples. Okay, I think I know what to do. So let's go back and take some items. So, I don't know if I ever see it, I don't think. Um, where's my huge apples? Thought I had some huge apples somewhere. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna take two more huge apples. Okay, and then. Why is my wine berries nice? How many spaces do I have within my bag now? Just out of curiosity. Okay, yeah. Let's just take a couple more. Um, more berries. Because you want to be really prepared for this dungeon. This dungeon is no joke. Uh, like Magma Cabin was. Uh, Magma Cabin for me was a joke because I didn't struggle at it with all. Which I'm grateful that I didn't struggle. But like, the, the, um, the next dungeon is in the sky and there's a lot of tough Pokemon. And you want to just be best prepared to have all your stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Uh, my phone just went off. <laughs> I have a notification on my phone. Um, yeah, I think this should be good. Hold on, Maxi Elixirs. I could use another Maxi Elixir. So I have a full bag, basically. Even before going into the dungeon. Which is fine, I mean, that's just how I prepare. You, you may be different. So, yeah. Okay, let me check my items again. Yeah, I have a full bag. Uh, yeah, I have three max elixirs, a lot of orange berries, a lot of huge apples, six survivor seeds. I'm I'm full bag, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna check the click on shops because I don't really need to buy anything or anything. Like I already, I'm so happy I, I got um, flamethrower on Cody and I found that TM in the magma cavern. I was really lucky. Um, let me go to his moves real quick to show you. See, I have flamethrower, break facade, ember. I think this might be his final move set because we're coming close to the end of the main game. There's a lot of after game. The after game doesn't end because you can keep on going to rescue missions and raise up your rescue rank or rescue team rank, and like with a, with the rescue team points. But we're getting close to the end of the main game, so yeah. And then I have ice beam, which will be really helpful. I bought a gun, ice beam, bubble and dig. Yeah, so we're pretty good. Um, I'm gonna deposit my money in the bank store. Deposit all that, yeah. I'm, I'm one short. I'm one poke. I'm one pokey short from having exactly six thousand pokey in the bank. It's kind of funny. Um, if we, you can talk to the people around in the square, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to this part here. Oh my! Isn't this awful? But I get the feeling that you can make a difference, Stephen. Please don't let us down. I won't. You get. I got your back, you guys. If you if that shooting star crashes, it's going to be terrible. You're all I hope. Go for it. Thank you, Snubble. And um, here's Diglett. Papa hasn't come back yet. I wonder what happened to him. 
oh, maybe they're, they're already gone to the sky, gone to the sky, and maybe they already meet with Quas met with Quasar. That's not possible, even Papa can't fly. So, where did Papa go? So, if you talk to um, the Duck Trio right before the Magna Cavern mission, uh, he'll be like, he'll go on a swim or something or move somewhere else. And right now, he, he's still not back with his kid, the Diglett. Let's talk to Glory Tough. We haven't talked to her in a while. I don't know what I don't know what kind what sort of Pokemon Aquarius it is, but with you I know it can become a friend. Friends are treasures. <laughs> Welcome to the Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's go talk to Makuhito real quick. We haven't talked to him in a while either. Cause he talked to This is the Makuhito Dojo. Okay, so all you care about is your dojo. I mean you're not even care about the world's gonna end soon if you don't do anything. Okay, Makuhito, that's cool. Well, I'm gonna go off to Wishkash Pond, and then I'm gonna talk to people in the square, and then we'll be ready to go. I'm um, gonna talk to our partner, in my case, Cody. The shooting, a shooting star is on a collision course. This is indeed a desperate time, but there is nothing that I can do. All our hope rides, all our hopes ride with you. I real, I realize that it is a heavy burden to bear, but we must count on you to succeed. Thank you, Wishkash. Or to add pressure, though. Yeah, um, Metapod says I used. I use Harden and wait for Steven's team to come back. Okay, cool, Metapod, that's cool. And Caterpie's in the square right now, so that's why he's next to Metapod. Um, Tyranitar, you can do it. You can stop the star from falling. If anyone can do it, it's you. Keep your faith. Thanks, Siftry. Flash doors, everyone depends on you. Don't fail. Charizard says, I'm throwing in my lot with Team Grodel. Thanks, Charizard. Get out there and save the world. Caterpie says, I'll wait for you. Steven, I'm sure that you will succeed and come back. Wombre says, this is getting heavy, but I have this feeling that you can do it. We need you to win. Thanks, Wombre, for the encouraging words. Rayquaza is legendary Pokemon, isn't that right? Getting to it sounds difficult enough, but you can't fail. Yeah, I know, Golem. I know my, I know my mission. <laughs> Darlings, I can't Bring, begin to imagine a world above the clouds. The best of luck. Thank you, Yachtilly. I stuck to Gulpin because we haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm rooting for you. Success, Steven. Hello, welcome to the Gulpin Link Shop. Okay, yeah. I don't need to link any moves right now, really. Um, other than that, um, let's talk to Alkazam. I will set out to confer with that too. You leave tomorrow. Prepare your journey. Prepare for your journey before then. And with that, we have prepared our journey. I'm going to double check my items real quick. And we look good. We look real good. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, you can just talk to your partner. And we can head off. Well, get a good night's sleep. Okay, Steven, are you ready for this guy? All set. Yep, let's get ready to go. We leave tomorrow. So let's get plenty of rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow, let it. Let's get it. Everything we can, Stephen. Thanks, Cody. It's really nice of you to say. Okay, it's a dream. Oh, it's nighttime, so it's like a dream sequence. Oh man, this isn't good. Erg, I feel horrible. Hey, this isn't the normal happy green Gardevoir dream. That kind of that rhymed. <laughs> this is a, this is a dream, isn't it? But why? Why do I feel this terrible? This is the first time. What's going on? What could? Oh no! It's Gengar, of course. He is always up to no good. No matter what, no matter how how much his pride goes down or something like that, how much he gets discouraged from doing the wrong things and getting like caught for it and stuff. How do you like Dream Eater? Oh, I don't like it. Horrible, isn't it? Can't, can't, can't. But who would have thought you were also human before? Didn't expect that. But who cares? Someone like that's sure to be some wool wife. Eh, oh, that's not very nice. Can't, can't, can't. I'll expose you yet. I'll expose you. I'll expose what's in your heart with Dream Eater. Can't, 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 can't. That's not very nice, Gengar. I'm a nice guy. I've proven that I'm a nice guy, and you still just treat me horrible. Um. Something's coming. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a light. Whoa, what's what is that light? It's coming closer. Yeah, get him. Light, go ham on that Gengar. Okay. Well, he's he's run off, so that's good at least. The pain, it's going away. Gardevoir. 
Garda boy, will you tell me now? Who or what I am? Yes, the time has arrived. Why you have come here? Uh, I will tell you all there is to tell. Steven, you have come to save this world. Come to save this world of Pokemon? I did? Yes, we learned that the world's faced ex extinction, I guess you could say. I think I read that right. And so we sought a hero. But through... Uh, but though we searched, no one could, no one could we find, nowhere could we find our hero. We were becoming discouraged. When we came across a human, Stephen, you were that human. Wh wh wait a second, hero me? That's too much. I'm anything. I'm not anything special like that. Yes, this is also how. This is also what you said the first time we met. You said you were not strong. But what you sought was not power merely for display. We sought true courage. True courage that I'm even I'm even less confident about that. That too is what you said when we met. It was then that you said this to see if you were worth were worthy to be our hero or not. You asked that we put you to the test and only if you were found to be truly worthy, then you were to be told the truth. To fulfill your role, queer of heart, mind. To fulfill your role, queer of heart and mind, you then cho uh, chose to erase your memory as a human and become a Pokemon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. That is how you became, became to be in this world. That's interesting. I, I did that. Your courage has been proven. Without question you bear the role of saving the world. And that role is soon coming to its end. Oh that's not good. Stopping the media from crashing into this world. That's my role. Yes. And when that is accomplished you will return to your human world. Oh. So I can go back to being a human. Wait. But that means yes. It means parting ways with Cody. No, Cody, I have to leave? Cody feels great kinship with you, Steven. So Steven, if, you're, if you were to leave, your friend would be heartbroken, but there can be nothing done. Aw, that's not good to hear. Because there are encounters, there are also farewells. I too once had a friend beyond value. Truly, I cherished our friendship, but my friend has gone away. I, it fills me with sadness, still losing my friend. That's sad, Gareth. I'm sorry about to hear that. But uh, we will meet again. That is what I believe. And yeah. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Who was that? Someone appears to be looking into your dream. But it is fine now. Whoever it is was run off, ran off. All, your, all that remains is this dream is to... All that remains in this dream is a feeling of sadness. That Pokemon, I think, ran away crying, ran off crying. So I'm guessing that was Gengar. He ran off crying. It was. It will be. It will be morning soon. Au revoir. Uh, something that's French, I think, saying goodbye or something in some different language. The next morning. Okay, we wake up. It's our big day. We head for the sky. Okay, um, go outside our base. Good morning, did you sleep well? This is it. Let's go, Steven. We're off to the sky. So, um, you can go off to the sky. We go down here, and Sky Tower's right there. But I'm gonna save and cut it right here. So this has been then my Pokemon Mission Danger and Vodovus Kitchen Walk the Guide part. And the next part we'll take to the sky, finally. And we'll hopefully save the world. So this has been Giant Gold again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mission Danger and Vodovus Kitchen Walk the Guide.